Who did you think won, Emily, overall? I think there's no question it was Nikki Haley. Uh, And as much as I personally don't like Nikki Haley, I think she needed that moment because now she is going to be super, super competitive in New Hampshire. She already is super competitive in New Hampshire. As you said earlier, Megan, uh, the vying for second place to Trump, distant, distant second place for Trump, but second place nonetheless. Uh, Nikki Haley is just about ready to overtake DeSantis. I know DeSantis is strong in Iowa. It's still not as strong as Trump. I know he thinks he's going to win Iowa. I know he staked his candidacy on winning Iowa. That's openly their strategy. Uh, but winning Iowa is not enough. Uh, that's, that's Jeff Rowe, his big consultant, was you know picked for that role because he helped Ted Cruz win Iowa. Well, I don't remember the Ted Cruz presidency, actually. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think he's been president yet. So it doesn't, that's not enough. And so for Nikki Haley to come out there um, and, and put on a performance that I do think to a lot of people on the right who have been so sick of the Nikki Haley's of the Republican party for two decades, saw something different in Trump. I don't think Nikki Haley is ever going to work. But I do think for that average Republican voter uh, who might be an educated suburban mom in a swing state, Nikki Haley is going to play pretty well. Again, I don't personally like her, but I do think that it's easy to lose sight in this kind of realignment conversation of the fact that that sort of uh, normal, educated suburban woman sees what Nikki Haley said. She had a very good answer, actually, shockingly good answer on abortion. They see what she said in response to that question, and they say, I'm with I'm with her. I think this is really, yeah. really interesting. Um, so for, for her to actually, I think, outshine Ron DeSantis, I think she she looked confident, especially for somebody who has been trailing uh, in the race. She looked confident. Pence is gone. Tim Scott always in these debates fades into the background despite yeah. his, his political prowess. He's fading into the background. Ron DeSantis was fine, but that is not good enough at this point. So I, mm-hmm. I think that's a, a big win for Nikki Haley. The um, the fights like DeSantis and Haley went back and forth, but the fights of the night that were memorable Moynihan were Vivek and Nikki because it got personal. Yeah. They clearly don't like each other. Remember, she said clearly. in the last debate, "I get I get dumber every time I listen to you." You know, she yeah. doesn't like him and he doesn't like her. At the end of the night, actually, we have videotape of it. They avoided each other. Here's uh, watch this video. When the debate was over, NBC kept the cameras rolling because they were doing like a post debate debate show. Can we see VO one? And um, he went right past her. Look, Vivek walks right past mm-hmm. her to shake Christie's hand, ignores her. It happened again in front of the lecterns. And in part, it was because of exchanges like this one where he took took a shot at her as sort of the new Dick Cheney, as like neocon, he's totally anti-neocon. Here it was in South High. So what I would tell Bibi is that Israel has the right and the responsibility to defend itself. I would tell him to smoke those terrorists on his southern border, and then I'll tell him as president of the United States, I'll be smoking the terrorists on our southern border. Corrupt politicians in both parties spent trillions, killed millions, made billions for themselves in places like Iraq and Afghanistan. You have the likes of Nikki Haley, who stepped down from her time at the UN, bankrupt or in debt as was her family, then she becomes a military contractor. She joins the board of Boeing and otherwise, and is now a multimillionaire. So I think that that's wrong when Republicans do it or Democrats do it. That's the choice we face. Do you want a leader from a different generation who's going to put this country first, or do you want Dick Cheney in three-inch heels? All right, Mr. In which case, we've got two of them on stage Mr. tonight. Okay. He added that bit at the end, in which case we've got two of them on stage tonight, which clearly was a reference to DeSantis. And even though we here at the Megyn Kelly Show have talked about whether DeSantis has lifts in those boots, we are a podcast allowed to do stupid ass things. On the presidential (laughs) debate stage, that seemed lowbrow to me. It seemed low class. He's doing (laughs) Yeah, but his answer was, I mean, his attack on her seemed substantive and a fair place to go. And um, then she responded with the following, Sat six. First, like to say they're five inch heels, and I don't wear them unless you can run in them. Um, We got two of you on stage. The second thing that I will say is I wear heels, they're not for a fashion statement, they're for ammunition. She's going to start sending all of the heels to Zelensky. (laughs) I I don't don't get it. I I don't don't understand what she means. (laughs) I don't. You like, have the entire maybe, time to think of a response, and that's like what she's they're saying. a weapon. If you would say they, I could use them as a weapon, okay. I, I've seen I single white female, boom, into the eye. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Ammunition? I don't. 
It didn't land for me. Doesn't make any sense. It didn't make sense. But wait, here was the big. Here was the big. The big exchange between the two of them, where this will bring our scum reference together. Can we show that back and forth? I can't find the exact number. The the team knows where it is. Go ahead. Well, I I, I want to laugh at why Nikki Haley didn't answer your question, which was about looking at families in the eye. In the last debate, she made fun of me for actually joining TikTok while her own daughter was actually using the app for a long time. So you might want to take care of your family first. Leave my daughter out of your voice. The next generation of Americans are using it. And that's actually the point. You have her supporters crapping her up. That's fine. Here's the truth. You're just the easy scum. answer. Don't. It was a Will That's Smith. an honest answer, by the way. That <laughs> That's something not scripted. Out of the side of her mouth, you're just scum. It was, I mean, wasn't it little... totally a ripoff from Will Smith? Take my wife's name out of <laughs> yeah, your yes. effing mouth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but she said voice weirdly, much like heels yeah. or ammunition. She's a bit uh, mumbly <laughs> up there. It was a glitch. Some yeah, I know, yes, glitch. It was yeah. very, very odd. I think that, that the point that he was making is so monumentally stupid that to say that, oh, uh, tick, should TikTok be banned? Your daughter uses it. It's like, well, I, I mean, your your daughter can be attacked, Vivek said after the debate, because she's an adult. It's like, yes, she can also decide whether or not to use TikTok and whether she thinks it's Chinese spyware. It's, it seems to be a ludicrous debate to begin with and probably not something that is is deserved to be elevated to the debate stage. But that said, the, the response to this is, uh, you know, a chorus of boos. People thought, I mean, it's not even, it used to be like, don't attack Sasha and Malia. Don't attack Chelsea Clinton. They're too young, et cetera. It's not even about that. It's like sins of the father, sins of the family. Like, why is this even coming up? And I thought it was just a really low, um, not even a low blow, it was just a very stupid blow. But the previous thing, I mean, Vivek has got all of these things. He's just memorizing phrases and it just sounds so canned. You know, we. it's so funny, BB has to attack his southern border. Has he ever looked at a map of Israel? Mm. Were they attacked by Egypt? What is he talking about? So, <laughs> so we can do our southern. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're trying He's gonna to smoke make that them. He's going to smoke He's gonna them. He's going to smoke them. Hand. Yeah, and everyone. It's just like, good lord, I can't stand watching this stuff. And Megan, I just want you to know, I do this for you. Otherwise, I wouldn't have watched it. I watched the View <laughs> for you because every time I come oh, on, God bless you. a conversation about the View. <laughs> but this, <laughs> watching this is like, you know what? It was better than most debates, but I just find this kind of desperate. I, and you know, you can tell that he's a TikTok guy, that it's of his generation because it's all sound bites. He's just trying well, how, to get- he, But he wasn't TikTok the only one in his bites. defense. Like, I'm going to smoke sure, him. For sure, for sure. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, sure yeah, you yeah. are. And then there's Ron DeSantis, DeSantis said, they're you know, going to be shoot stone them, cold dead. Stone cold like, dead at the well, border. this guy trying to be and, John yeah. Wayne up there, all these little Harvard, <laughs> Yale guys. Like, he's got- yeah. Yeah. No yeah, one, dog face pony soldier next. I mean, no one's believing but that. The, see, but that's oh. a good one. Because <laughs> it's buying dog face <laughs> pony soldier <laughs> is so much better than anything they came up with. And by the way, the more that we get Nikki, so the, the more the Republican Party insists on uh, you know backing people like Nikki Haley and supporting the ideology of people like Nikki Haley, the more vivaques we're going to get. And this is why it's not the politics we need, but it is the politics we deserve. It's mm. Nikki Haley coming back with the he, my heels are ammo line from him calling <laughs> her Dick Cheney in three inch heels. Like this is exactly what we deserve. It's so stupid. They're both bad. <laughs> This show is supported by Grand Canyon University. Founded in 1949, GCU is a private Christian university that's dedicated to delivering an affordable and transformative higher education. Their vibrant campus is located in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona, and according to Niche.com, ranked a top 25 best campus in the USA. As of June 2023, GCU offers 330 academic programs, with over 270 of them online, allowing you the freedom to earn your degree on your time from wherever you are. At GCU, your degree, whether it's a bachelor's, master's, or doctorate, integrates the free market system and a welcoming Christian worldview. Learn more about GCU's programs, competitive tuition rates, and scholarship offers from your university counselor. They're part of the supportive graduation team who will take a personalized approach to helping you achieve achieve your academic goals, walking alongside you every step of the way. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. It's private, it's Christian, it's affordable. For more info or to enroll, visit gcu.edu. 
Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.